guys, it's Jasmine back again with another video and today I wanted to look at Apple's leather sleeve. Now I really wanted to look at this case because I wanted to know the practicality on it. Um, I always am on my phone and so I'm always using their other leather cases and I did a review on the MagSafe cases which these two leather cases are on there. I have the Baltic blue and then just the black. So. I'm curious to see what Apple did with the leather sleeve and how practical it was. Now in the box, um, you do get obviously the sleeve and this little leather loop. And the box is actually thicker than the iPhone box. Believe it or not, it is. Which is kind of dumb. <laughs> so getting into the box, uh, you get this inside the case just telling you how to use it. And then it also gives you warning that if you use MagSafe, like the charger that it will imprint on the back of the case and I did cover that on my MagSafe case video so check that down I'll, or check that out and I'll leave the link down below and then of course Design Rappel in California and then this is where the loop sits so put that off to the side now into the case itself um, you don't have to use the loop with the case I prefer to this case is very specific I feel like it's not an everyday case it's like if you're gonna go out with friends or go out to the bar which is not a thing right now I guess depending what state you live in I live in South Dakota and that's not a thing the bars are open I don't partake um, but everyone around me does so maybe that will suit them do your thing um, if this case will fit your habits that's cool so this case can hold up to two cards pretty tight so I recommend maybe one you can already see the imprint for that and then MagSafe is already in here and you can actually use MagSafe accessories I wouldn't recommend using like the MagSafe wallet uh, doesn't hold on hold on that strongly uh, that's why they included that and this will start to crease and fold back over time it already has from a day's use now, after using this for a day, I would probably give this on a scale of one to five, five being the best, um, a, probably a two, <laughs> just because there are some downfalls. Uh, number one is the accessibility of getting your cards. So I'm going to show you quick. Um, here I have my iPhone 12 Pro. Now, the gimmick with this case is once it recognizes that you have um, that you have your iPhone in there, it will do a kind of cute, cool thing. So it turns the color of the case. So if you were to get the red one, it would turn red, or the black, it would turn black. If you do it the blue one, it would turn blue. Now it turns the whole screen that color, so if we were to like kind of open this a little bit, the whole screen is that color. But the downfall is you can't swipe left or right. If you get phone calls, you can't answer it like that. I actually dealt with that this morning. I had to pull the phone out to answer it. I don't know why they have this cutout because if you put the phone back in, I believe it hangs up. So I don't know why Apple did that. Now you do have the cutout back here to protect your iPhone with, or your iPhone's cameras, which is nice because they're an expensive setup. Um, and then you can just, you know, hang it with this little magnetic strap. Now this is annoying to get off. Very annoying to get off. It takes quite the struggle. Um, but it easily comes off once you do get that unlatched and then this is your case without it. So pulling the iPhone out, it will get easier over time as the leather stretches and that collapses. As the leather stretches, um, so that is something to look forward to, I guess, if you want to use this on the daily. Like I said, for me, this is not a daily case. This is more just a maybe once in a while case. But the reason why I give it such a low rating is because it's $129 US. And that's just a lot of money for a case that you're not going to use all the time versus a $59 case that I use every day. And they feel the same, although... The leather is supposed to be different. This is supposed to be like 100% leather and this is like not 100%. I'm not 100% sure on that. So when we talk cards, so I'll put that in the top here. 
I put that in the top. Then it does its thing, recognizes MagSafe, okay. So if you wanna take your card out, it's kind of difficult. Like you can't grab it. You literally have to take your iPhone out. Then you can kind of go in and get your card, but even then it's difficult. So this is just not a real practical case in my opinion. Like it's just not practical. Like what if you want to quickly take a picture, then you have to fight with the phone and then I don't know, it's just not practical. Whereas, you know, if you have a case like this on, you know, you can quickly take a picture if you want to and then you know, say you needed to access your wallet quickly, there you go. And I did review this case as well. This is my favorite wallet. I use it every single day, even over my Louis Vuitton wallet. So, um, getting this out, that's just annoying. When you want to put this in there, here's another thing. You're gonna put it through like this. It does instruct you on how to do it, but I did it wrong the first time as well. Then you have to put that on there. It's a little magnet, like magnetized, and then you have to push down kind of hard, and then it goes on there. So that is the iPhone 12, 12 Pro leather sleeve. Now they make this for the mini and the max. So you can get it for any iPhone you want, as long as it's the 12 series. Do I recommend it? No, I don't recommend this case. Uh, for $129, it's not worth it. I might use it once in a while, it's nice leather, I have to admit. It's cool to just throw in your car. I did try to connect my keys to it. Um, it just weighs it down. So, let me know what you guys think of this case. Did you get one? Are you going to get one? Do you think this is just like a flex from Apple? Does it just dress up your iPhone? Would you rather just use one of their leather cases or silicone cases or a third party case? What case do you use? So thank you guys so much for tuning in. I appreciate it. Hope you guys are having a great December and I look forward to making more content for you guys. We'll see you guys in the future. Peace.